Hi everyone, welcome to this Tuesday Talks where I'm actually talking about the different ways that you actually, um, that your clients actually feel with you. The reason that this has come up is that um, confidentiality is my highest value and I actually had someone challenge me asking for a client's name and I refused to give it. I absolutely and utterly refused to give it because confidentiality is my highest value. Now, what this does, this helps my clients to feel safe. It helps them to actually be able to let go of being judged and any of those other feelings. They then feel safe in my space so that they can actually say whatever they want to say, whatever comes out. It is so important for me that my clients feel this and when I got challenged it was interesting because I didn't get angry didn't get upset I just got really really firm now how do your clients feel whether they you know people that have paid for a session or not whatever it is how do they actually feel in your environment it is really important that you help them feel safe secure and every other thing that you bring into a session, because we all bring different things in. I bring in nurturing, I bring in compassion, I bring in caring, I bring in the ability of me to be an empath, an empath with boundaries, because I can actually feel things, see things, know things, etc. Yet as soon as I've actually said what needs to be said, boom, disconnected, from the actual that bit not disconnected from the client but disconnected from that so I don't take it on and that is why I wanted to come on today this won't be a a long Tuesday talk because I don't feel it needs to what I would love for you to do and for those that don't know me I'm Darlene from the Aligned Path with Darlene I'm an intuitive business strategist so I help you understand how to actually work in your business and bring in your intuition. It's amazing. I just felt that we all needed to take a breath because this is a big topic. I'm talking about feelings and I'm talking about how you help your clients feel. What do you do that helps your clients understand that they can be themselves in you. Now, if you're one of those people that, and I will get a little bit ranty here, that don't care about putting out who you work with, and some of the examples are such and such as join my group program. I work with such and such, and even I've seen it often. People say, oh, I talk about somebody, but in a third-party way. No. I saw it in the medical field where people were saying that they actually, you know, they were talking about people without using names or anything. The relative was sitting at the next table and in their, in their head went, that is my relative. They went back to the hospital and they complained and that, that went huge. So even talking in a third person, you never know who is watching. Someone may turn around and go, actually, that's my friend or blah, blah. And they will go to that friend or whoever it is and say, go and watch this video or, you know, see this or read this post. You just never know. And that is why I really, I want to get ranty, but not in a way that's going to be, you know, forceful or anything else. This is my belief that if you don't hold your client in a safe container and not disclose anything at all, I'm not going to work with you. And I've actually written down names of people I will never work with because they've done that. I've seen it where there's been a challenge and at the end there's like a group program or a course to join. They even have a whiteboard and they put the person's name on there and they go, oh, look at all these people that have joined. How can you do that? How can someone feel safe in you? It doesn't matter what you do. You may do marketing. If you turned around and gone, um, I'm just making up a name, 
Josie, whatever, has joined my course. If they, if you haven't gotten their permission, guess what's going to happen? There's every chance that that person may even pull out or they may do nothing at all and they may even ask for a refund or whatever it is because they haven't felt safe. There's another one. Um, so, yeah, they do things like that. Again, if you do a post and it's a third-party person, doesn't matter. There's many different ways that you can talk about people, whether you give their name or not, that means you're breaching confidentiality. Now, confidentiality is actually part of many legislations. When I was in the healthcare field, there is legislation on confidentiality. If you breach that, who knows what can happen? So please, please think about confidentiality and think about what you're going to do to help your clients feel safe. I would love for you to write down a list, just get out a piece of paper and go, when a client is with me in a session, how do I want them to feel? And then the second phase, what do I do that helps them to feel that? If you want them to feel nurtured, what do you do in that session and on social media, newsletters, etc., that helps that person feel that nurturing? You can see that my voice is changing as I talk about different aspects because that is what happens within my body. I change. If I if I talk about how I nurture people, then you can see there's a difference, there's a softening. If I want my clients to feel confident, then I come through, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat chakra, interesting. I come through as confident. That is who I am. This is who I am. My, I'm really confident in my sessions. And I mean, I'm extremely confident in my sessions. And the clients feel that. How does that come through? You suddenly you've seen me, or maybe even um, you may have even seen me sit up. If you want your clients to feel compassion, you know, like that you feel compassionate towards them, what are you going to do? So number one, write down what you want your clients to feel, whether it's in a session or even on social media, etc. And then how do you go about doing that so your clients feel that? This is why I love doing Facebook Lives, YouTube channels, my posts and all of that to help people understand what I do and how I help people feel in that session. What a beautiful little activity for you to do. If you would love, um, come back and let me know how you went with, the, um, with that little project. You don't need to say anything at all. If you want to say how you help your clients feel, then you can. I don't want you to feel that you have to come back and say, this is how my clients feel. If you would like, I'd love to, for you to come back, though, and say how you went with the activity. Thank you for watching. My name's Darlene, and this has been Tuesday Talks with Darlene, and I shall see you on the next one.